InfoSec hacking. Playing yeah. On that red team. They're trying it's to Sunday conversation. Me. They're always thinking I am in Welcome. APT. Playing on that red team. They're trying to it's find time to me. take They're your knowledge to another I level. In APT. Pop your box. Hit your site with that cross site. Yep. Read your traffic, Let's do it. Pull bug out of it's mid. Sunday. Decrypt traffic. Now I can see your shit in plain sight. Website dead. Now the whole sock flipping out. They all flipping Smash out. Data. I got your sister fucking tripping out. On the cake. If you need that Let's fucking go. day. Bugging out. I made a million in a, a day. day. Oh yeah, let's go, it's Sunday, let's start your week off right, yes, 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 this week on the Hacker's Mindset, Sunday Conversations, that's what we're calling this, we have an amazing guest, but before we go into that, the one thing I love about doing this as well as just being on Twitter and learning so much is I get so much content from Twitter and it allows me to dig deeper into different tweets. I know a lot of you watching out there, you know, Stokes channel, you know, Naham Twitch's uh, Twitch TV. There's another person, Ryan, that does security conversations. He has an amazing podcast that you get a lot of information, a lot of content. And for me, content is king. Like if you could tweet something that I can learn from, that's the name of the game for me. Like the person that I'm going to bring on some dev, please introduce yourself, please, sir. I'm, I'm happy you're here today introduce yourself let everyone know who you are your background let everyone know buddy hey marco thanks for having me on this amazing podcast and to all the listeners i i'm somdi sangan i have been in this industry for four years now and in these four years i have done a bunch of stuff like osant programming web security and currently i'm working with Android security and cloud security. Right now, I am working with Radiant Labs as a research and development guy. And you might know me from my open source contributions or my Twitter content that I put out. Um, So yeah, amazing, amazing content that you put out. So two weeks ago, I never knew who you were, and for some reason, I think someone retweeted what you a tweet right and and the thing is for me when i when i see a retweet or i see someone that i'm not following i look at their 20 tweets their last 20 tweets that's just i love content i love to learn so i looked at your last 20 tweets and i was like holy shit right and and the one that sticks out and we're gonna go into some of your tweets and some of your projects your medium articles everything like that but the thing that I seen once I clicked on your name that learn regex in four tweets. Can you explain how did you come up with that idea? And, and that that had I think over seven thousand retweets and likes and stuff like that. It went it it went big. Tell me tell me about that because yeah. I, I it blew my mind. So a lot of my friends um, asked for, for my, my help in regex. And- I turned, I turned on my, my fan. <laughs> it's uh, all good. Yeah. 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 Anyways, so a lot of my friends asked for my help in Redex and they think it's a hard, hard thing to learn. And it, it became, became kind of irritating for me, all, all these people, people saying that Redex is hard, hard and all. And, and for someone, someone who knows, knows Redex, it's, it's not, not that hard. You have to learn like four, four or five, five things, things and, and you can, can really sum up some, some, some all, all of them. them. In, in like, like four, four or five, five tweets, tweets. So, so I thought, I thought yeah, yeah let's, let's do it, do it and, and let's put, put cats, cats in there. there. <laughs> so I, I just, just made, made four, four tweets, tweets and I put it there. there. Yeah. No, no blog, blog posts, posts, no, no ab- ab- some, some people, people even have written, written a book, book about, about it. it. Yeah. Like, like, 
is not, not that, that hard. hard. Yeah, it, it's not that hard. And for tweets, you, I was like, this is very creative, innovative. And the way you put it, it's very, it's bite-sized. So it was, it's very interesting yeah, how yeah, it's put you. together. And yeah, I, I just, I thought that was really cool. And I was just like, man, I definitely have to speak about it. Another tweet that you tweeted, and it was a tip where, um, and I'll read the tweet. He goes, I am sure all right, all right. how many, how many of you know this already, but you can search for multiple file types for a domain in Google, right? And the thing is, I kind of never like did that. And I've been in the game and I've, I've, I, I Google fool a lot, but the way you put it, I was like, oh shit, I never did that. I, I just didn't. And those little nuggets become something huge, a game changer for me. So that was cool. And then a follow-up tweet after that was a long list of things that you should search for. So what is the, did people ask you or, or was it something that you would always do? See, See the, the thing, thing is that, that everyone, everyone should do is to read documentation. documentation. For, example, For example, if I'm, I'm writing, writing a blog about something, about something I, can't I can't put, put more, more information than the developer, developer or the original author himself. author himself. Yep. So, so it's, it's always, always good, good to read the documentation. The documentation. And, uh, uh, for, for someone who has, you know, you know like, like read, read the documentation, documentation of Google, Google search, uh, they, they know things that I don't know. So I read its documentation and I find out about found out about a bunch, bunch of things. things there was, there was another, another tweet that, that i posted, I posted. It, it was about, about uh, finding, finding out all the, the website, website that link to a particular, particular web page and in this, in this particular, particular case, case you know, uh, like, like you said, said that i tweeted about i think around 78, 78 extensions, extensions that, that are interesting that, that, that you can look for, for. That, that came, came from, from uh, Google, Google Hacking, Hacking Database. Yeah. Uh, it's it's an online, online repository where you can, can submit, submit your own docs, docs Google Docs. docs. Uh, they can, they can be, be anything for login, login pages, for vulnerabilities, for, for interesting files. files. So what, so what I, I did, did, I dumped their whole uh, database, database and, and I extracted, extracted all, all the EXT fields. And then, and then I unique, unique them, them and sorted them, them. And then I manually, manually kind of filter out the, uh, you know, less interesting ones. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that segues into a lot of, uh, your cool GitHub projects. That's, that's really interesting, right? You, you wrote some cool things. Arjun, you want to go into that? That's pretty cool. I want to go into hard, uh, the hard code strings too. So that's pretty cool. Go into Arjun. Hard hard codes. Oh, oh, okay. okay. You want to yeah, yeah, Arjun. definitely on, on okay. Arjun. So, so it's, it's a tool, tool that, that I wrote about one year, one year ago, and it's, it's for finding STP parameters. Um, people, people usually, usually use it for on on discovering new parameters on API, and if you, if you want, want to it and search, search for it, a bunch, bunch of people have, have found, found really, really cool, cool bugs, bugs with it. So, so basically, basically maybe maybe you are that, that you don't, don't know, know nothing, nothing about it and if it's um, maybe, maybe it's returning a blank, blank response, response you, can you can just supply it to Arjun, Arjun and it will, it will try to find hidden parameters. parameters. Yes. Uh, it, it goes, goes through, through a list, list of, of like, like 26 parameter, parameter names, names in like, like 5, five seconds, seconds if you, if you uh, optimize, optimize the threads right. right. So it's, so it's a pretty, pretty cool, cool tool and I am still working on it, it's on heavy development. And I hope, I hope we will, we will see, see a second, second version of Arjun, Arjun 2 this, this month. month. I, can't I can't promise, but I will try. try. <laughs> uh -huh. This is this probably, probably, probably my favorite tool, actually. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I like the XSS strike. You want to talk about that? It says it's the most advanced cross-site scripting scanner. Please elaborate, sir. All right. All right. Uh, so, so it started, started about three years, years ago, ago when, when I kind, kind of uh, started learning programming. programming. And what, what I, I did, I, I took a bunch of 
एक्सएसएसएस स्कैनर वन वन वाज फॉर रिफ्लेक्टेड स्कैनर वन वाज फॉर बाईपासिंग वेब्स एंड आई आई काइंड ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड देम टुगेदर एंड आई कॉल्ड इट एक्सएसएस स्ट्राइक यू नो फॉर अ बिगिनर प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम इट्स it has, it has many, many features, features. It, it has blind, blind access, access uh, discovery it has dom, dom access discovery it, it can, can bypass webs. webs it can, can crawl, crawl web websites. websites it, it can, can go, go through, through web list, list of, of URLs. URLs and it's, it's really, really good at finding, finding reflected access, access. Uh, it's, it's it's based, based on, on context, context. Uh, uh, you know, you know uh, if you have, have used uh, access scanners before, before Um, you will you know like, that um, they, they take a list, list of, of payloads, payloads and they, they try it one by one. By one. And if, if one, one of them is reflected properly into, into the source code, code then they, they say, yeah, yeah, it's it's vulnerable. Um, it's not, not very, very accurate, accurate, and that's why I, I wrote, wrote an and kind, kind of parsing engine, engine for HTML, HTML and then figured out a way, way to create payloads on the fly. From, from templates, templates. and yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty, pretty cool, cool tool. tool. Uh, it, it seems, seems kind, kind of broken, broken right now because of public contributions, but I am, I am also, also thinking, thinking of updating it in the near future. future. Uh-huh. Nice. Is I it based on a, is it based on the paper that you wrote uh, bypassing XSS uh, detection mechanisms? No, no. It's, okay. it's not based it's on that. that. The paper, paper come, came, came much, much after, after that. that. Gotcha. Tool. Tool. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. And you wrote that paper and um you been you've been really active on your medium articles as well. But before we go into the medium articles, let's talk about uh Photon. Oh, oh. It's, it's a, a it's a scroller, scroller that, that I designed, designed for gathering, gathering information, information myself. myself. But then, but then I, I thought it would be really cool, cool if, if I open source, source it. Other other people will be You know, you know, able, able to, to use it, and, and it is much appreciated by OSINT OSIN community. community. It can, can go, go through, through a website, website crawl all of the pages, and, and extract things, things like emails, emails credit card, card, card information, information, phone numbers, numbers or, or like JavaScript, JavaScript files, files, or, or tokens. tokens. It can do a lot, lot of things. things. Uh, it's it's written in Python, Python so, so it was, it was a fun one project, project to do. do. And yeah, yeah, that's that's what's up, man, and. What what are you looking forward to in the? What projects are you looking forward to in, in the upcoming months? All right, all right, all right. Um, um, so, so there's, there's a, project a project that, that I'm working on right, right now. now. It's, called it's called Path. Path. So what so what it does? It takes, it takes a, website a website and finds, finds uh, all, all the URLs from, from Open Threat Exchange, Exchange from, from Common, common Core from from Web, web Archive. Archive. And, and once, once it, it has, has collected, collected all the URLs, URLs it it uh, um, tries, tries to find, find parameters, parameters in, in those, those URLs. URLs. Parameters, parameters which are, which are commonly vulnerable. vulnerable. You know, you know, if, if you go through, go through my Twitter, Twitter you see that, that I posted uh, uh, parameter names that, that are commonly vulnerable to issues, issues like XSS like or RCE. RCE. So what, so it, what does, it does, it, it Try to find those, those parameters, parameters so, so you can, can prioritize, prioritize your testing. testing. Uh, for, uh, for example, if you, you find, find a parameter, parameter like page, page you, might you might want to test, test it for LFI, LFI or, or RFI. RFI. Or maybe or maybe SRF. SRF. And I'm, also I'm also working on Zoom 2. There's another tool called, called Silver, Silver um, which, which takes, takes a list, a list of, of hosts, hosts IP addresses, and then Port scans, port scans them, them and so for the service, service is running, running, running on them, them and then sends them to a notification slack. slack. If it, if finds, it finds anything, anything cool, cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's that's what it is. Uh, you, you, what is your? You, you've written a lot of articles. 
and and medium mm-hmm. which, which one's your top your favorite out of the ones that you've written that you've enjoyed the most all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think that, that would be, be maybe, maybe exploiting regular expression because, because I love, I love webs, webs and, and I love regex and, and, and it's, it's a combination, combination of both of them and, and, and with those, with those exploits, exploits I found, I found five, five series, series my first five, five series actually, actually. And, and I think I they, think they will be my last because I don't think series really matter uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my, my favorite, favorite article, article I learned a lot about NFA, NFA DFA, um, while, while searching, searching about that particular, particular topic. topic. It's, it's kind, of kind of DDoS, DDoS but, but on steroids. steroids. <laughs> nice. And I, I've seen on your Medium article you were uh, de-blurring images. What were you doing with that? The, oh, oh. So, so I, don't I don't know how, how many people know about this, but I am also a craft, craft designer. designer. I, I, I have, I have used, for, used, used photos for, for about five, five years now, now and, and I'm really good, good at it. it. So, so I, can I can do things, things uh, uh, in no sense, sense that, that people, people want, want to do, to do but, but they have they no idea, idea how to do. For example, for example reading, reading text, text, reading, reading slit text, text, text in, in images, 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 I can do all that. and. I got, I got this, this idea, idea man. I was, I was working, working, and working, working on, on an ocean challenge, challenge and I saw, I saw a, strip a strip of text, of text that was blurred. blurred. And then I, then I kind, of kind of started, started researching, researching about how, how blur, blur is like light images, images, like, like what, what happens in the back, back, back and when you click, click on, on blur, blur, what the computer, computer does. does. So I, so kind, I kind of learned, learned that, that and I tried to reverse it and it really worked out. Nice. How many hours you put into uh, developing projects and coding a week? Okay, okay, that's, that's an interesting, interesting question. question. I, do, I don't really, really section, section my time, time like that. That, that, that um, um, in, in these, these hours, hours I will develop, develop and, and in these hours, hours I will only do research. research. I, am I am like like on my, on my computer, computer all, all the time. time. If I'm, if I'm not, not eating, if I'm, if I'm not chilling, chilling, you know, you know, or sleep, sleeping. I'm, I'm, Nearly, nearly all the time, time on my computer. computer. I, know, I know it's not, not kind, kind, of, kind of healthy, but you know, you know curious curious stops. stops. Yep. So, so I, I put, put in like, like at, at least 14, 14 hours, hours a, day, a day, I think. I think. Going in, going in hard, making it happen. That's yeah, what's yeah. up. What is, what is your favorite language? I'm pretty sure you have a lot of projects up there in Python. Do you yeah, have a yeah. preferred language to uh, code in? Yeah, yeah. I think Python is really, really fun, fun to write, and, and um, I have, I have learned, learned Golang, Golang now. It's quite quite cool, but but it's, it's a um, mess, mess to, to debug. debug. It's, it's really, really, really good for scalability. scalability. For, example, for example, if you want to want scan, scan the entire, entire internet, 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 you are not going to do it with Python, Python because it's an integrated language. language. Mm-hmm. And, and you will, you will learn something, something that um, um, can be can compiled. Be compiled. Uh, Golang, Golang has been developed, developed with an intention to be, be scalable. scalable. And, and right, right now, now uh, at, at Red Hat Labs, we are, we are doing things, things that really, really, really need to be Mm-hmm. You know, good, good on performance that, that really 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 scalable. Scalable. Well, for example, for example we, are we are scanning, scanning the internet, the internet. Um, um, just, just like you done we are scanning, scanning the internet, the internet. Um, um, and that, that I learned the whole and, and, and I learned cloud, cloud, cloud architecture, architecture and it's, and been, it's been coming, coming along very well. well nice so, nice so, <clears throat> yeah yeah how long you, you said you were you learned how to code four years ago? What was that like for you? That process. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I learned, I learned code, code three, three years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. So what? So what happened? happened when, when, when there was there a was tool. a tool. There was there was a small script that I that found, I found on GitHub. GitHub, and I was, and I was a newbie, a newbie back, back then, so I ran so it and, and gave me a bunch, bunch of errors. errors. So I so googled, googled that, that error and found a suggested, suggested fix from Stack, Stack Overflow. Overflow. So, so I, I copied, copied that code, code and kind of used my common sense, sense to fiddle around, around with it and, and, and put it in and, and it worked. worked. And it, and was, it was like magic, magic for me. Uh, uh, so I, so I thought <laughs> maybe, maybe this is something, something I can really do. do. 
So, so I, started I started looking into, into other, other projects, projects and, and I tried to, try to modify them, them I tried to fix their errors, errors as I got, I got them, them and, and tried, tried to add new features. features. I never, I never actually, actually read, read a book or watched, watched a tutorial, tutorial on Python. Python. Um, um, I just, I just learned basic stuff, stuff like, like how to use, use if else statements, how, how to print, print something, or, or I, I learned how to make a HTTP request, and, and that wasn't enough for me to get started. started. Because, because in web, web security, security that's, that's what you, what you do, do for like 80%, 80% of the time. Of your time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and since then, then I never, never stopped. stopped. I learned, I learned PHP, PHP, I learned Bash, I learned JavaScript, 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 and now I learned Golang. Golang. How do you tackle how do you tackle that right when you're when you're learning a new language what is your process on tackling a a new language a golang or even php what, what is your process in learning okay so my, so my trick, trick is to um, um, not no read, read any tutorial, tutorial. and this, and this will, will sound very very odd, very odd. but, but I, I have actually, actually written an article, article about it. it it's called, it's called how, how to how to how to, learn, how to, uh, how to Oh, I don't know, I don't know what that is about. about learning, learning how to code, code in, in, uh, in, a, in, in a week. week. Yep. Learning how to code yeah. in a week. Yeah. So, what, so you what you do, you go, you go on Google, Google and you, and just, you type just type in how to do it, it in PHP. PHP. How to, how do, to do, do this in PHP. PHP. So, so uh, if, uh, I if I am coming, coming from a Python background, I will just simply write how to print in PHP. So, so I know, I know print, print is something, is something that, that we do in Python, and then I can simply search uh, uh, how to write, how to write a for loop, loop in PHP. And, and for, for most, most of the time, time there's, there's uh, nothing thing else, else that, that we really do, do in programming. programming. There, are, there are very specific tasks, tasks. Uh, uh, for example, how, how to get the current, current time in the uh, language, language you are learning, learning. and you can and you just Google, Google it. There's, there's no need no to... Uh, learn, learn things, things that, that you don't, don't really need and you can learn them, learn them along the way. way. And, and this, this advice, advice is not, not for anyone, anyone who does, who does not, not know a language, language right, right, now. right now. So, so if you are, if you are uh, uh, like, like totally, totally new in programming, in programming you should, should not uh, take, take my, my advice. advice. This is for someone, someone who knows, who knows uh, uh, programming, programming as well. already. Yeah. Yeah, and what is, what is your process when you're writing articles? I've seen... You've written a lot of articles. What What is your process in that? Do you get a topic and you just say, hey, I'm going to write an article because I believe there's value in here for people? Yeah, yeah actually, actually, I, I had, had a blog, had a blog in, in 2018, I guess. And, and, and I had around, around 120 articles there. there. And wow. Just kind of broke that, that blog. blog. Yep, yep. So, I've, so been I've been writing since, since a long, long time. time. And my, my motivation behind it is that I like, that I like to share. To share. Because, because when, when you, you share, share a piece of, of information, information people, people either, either will appreciate, appreciate you for it, for it thank, thank you for, you for it, it, or, or they will, they will point, point out mistakes. mistakes. Mm-hmm. And in and both, both cases, it's, it's, it's beneficial, beneficial for you. For you. So, so mm. if they point, point out mistakes, mistakes you, get you get to learn something, something new. new. Like, like yeah, yeah, I was, I was doing, doing this, this wrong. wrong. That is uh-huh. that is a fact, sir. I, I truly believe that when... You know, you get to yeah, share yeah. it. You get to reintroduce what you learned and put it on paper and, and put it out there for the world so they could consume it. And at the end of the day, either, it's either going to help them or they're going to say, hey, you made a mistake for, for you know, something and it, it betters you. If, if you did make a mistake on something, it's all good. You learn and you move forward. Yeah, yeah. And another, another thing, thing that, that I really consider, consider while putting, putting, putting out any kind, any kind of content, content, content that, that make, make sure... sure it's, it's original. original. For, example, For example, you will find hundreds, hundreds of write-ups write about, about CSRM. CSR and they, they have no, no new, new information about, about mm. the global narrative or like, like like itself. itself. So, if, so you if you found, found let's, let's say, an RC, in, in, no, matter no matter how big big corporation, corporation that, that is, you should, you should write, write about, about it only, only if you are, you are giving, giving some, some new information. information. Otherwise, it's, it's just, just a waste, waste of time for you, for you as well as the readers. So, if you... Look at, Look my, at my articles. articles. They, they are, are not about anything main mainstream. mainstream. They are mm-hmm. not about CSRF. They are not about, about XSS. XSS. They are pretty, pretty unique. unique. Uh-huh. That's, that's what, what I, I aim, aim at. That's what's up. Well, listen, I greatly appreciate you sharing your time on a Sunday or Monday where you're at. Sunday for me. I, I mean, mm-hmm. like I said, keep on tweeting and keep on doing your thing. For me, I, I have learned a lot. For, 
from your tweets. Thanks, just, thanks, just it makes me think differently. And that's, to me, a good tweet, right? If I'm doing something a certain way and you tweet something or someone tweets something and it makes me think and readjust just a little bit, it was a great tweet because it allows me to grow. It allows me to take my game to another level. And I know conversations like this help people. It, it takes them through the hacker's mindset. That's why I call the hacker's mindset is to change and and help elevate and take him to a different place. So, sir, you have a great week. Thank you for joining. I greatly appreciate it. And you have a good week. And hopefully I'll see you in person one of these days, sir. And sure, sure. you take care. And everyone, this is Sunday Conversations. This is what we're doing every Sundays. We're going to have someone on. We're going to have great conversations. And next week, we're going to have Frederick Stoke, if he's available. So I haven't gotten the confirmation, but it should be a good one, just like this one. Guys, thank you. And I will speak to you later. Have a good week.